Welcome to the Foot Daily Update, where we make you guys coins. Guys, we do this every single day, so make sure you guys like, subscribe, but ding the bell to get your daily dose of content. And guys, this is where I tell you guys, we're actually going to be changing this up to 9 p.m. UK. At That's probably going to be more consistent for us going forward, so I just want to let you guys know that. But today, we have a lot of content. I will be trying to get this out as soon as I possibly can. If it's sooner, then better, right? But if I can't, it's going to be trying to be closer to 9 p.m. consistency. But, guys, we got 80-plus doubles. We got 80, 81 times 7. 80-plus. 80 81 times 7. Premium La Liga upgrades. Guys, we got so much going on. The gold market's absolutely insane. Let's go ahead and check it out. Let's go ahead and check it out. Your gold market update okay so uh here's the thing guys these premium la ligas premium la ligas are taking what exactly 11 rares those are going to be in packs three days repeatables 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 all this fodder grind is in packs for three days ea's been doing this they drop it on monday next thing you know three days wednesday comes and boom you get more supply so what is going to happen guys 80 gold market absolutely insane so if you want to make a million coins off of 50,000 10,000 20,000 100,000 whatever it is 500k or below even at 500k even a million coins guys you can make 100k an hour potentially by just doing the gold coming check the video below it's in the comment section or in the description but guys that doesn't tell us what's going to happen essentially with this market in full right 82s guys 80 from 75 to basically 82 that market is going to go up probably 20 30 percent the cards that are on fodder price for 700 750 will probably go up to 850 900 maybe a thousand uh, like uh with better links like Pulisic here uh with you know premier link 12 13 1400 so you're going to see that quite a bit now 83s uh john stones is still actually halfway low here for what he normally goes to like what we said a couple days ago you could have gotten a 30 percent return on this uh when we invest when we talked about it yesterday now uh hernandez we were telling to buy underneath uh underneath a thousand yesterday we we're telling you about 900 uh to be able to buy in if you guys did this i'd be waiting a little bit but here's the thing if you're fully leveraged when i talk about leverage what i mean is if you have put all your coins all your coins and you have zero to trade with what should you do you need to be flipping because you need to generate more coins to continuously invest. So if you can't invest more, you need to be made. You need to bring some income. You need that cash flow. How do you do that? You do that by using the gold common method. You do that by playing games. You do that by whatever it is, sniping cards, flipping. But you're generating coins. That's what you need to be doing. If you are, or if you're fully leveraged, you need to be generating. You should be flipping these type of cards. But I would suggest buy more. If I was you guys at 83, 83s right here, Lucas Fernandez, 900, keep buying them. You can sell them at 1100, 1200. I guarantee it. If you already bought them, but you need to be flipping those. Snipe them, snipe them, bid them, buy them, flip them. That's, that's the idea right now. 84s have gone up just a little bit off of that. They were, what, uh, 2600 uh, just yesterday. I think we told you guys they were a good price yesterday. 85s gone up. Guys, we were saying buy price was yesterday. 86s, back up. Buy price was yesterday. 87s down to 10.5. Woo! There's no demand up there. There's no demand up there. So 87s and 88s are probably like that as well. Kind of flatline. Yep, flatline 15, 86, or 88, 9. Yep, about the same. And you're about to going to see all the way the same, all the way up to Yano Block, which uh, we were told you a couple days ago. Old Block is that basically, guys, the gold market, the way the market's going to move is basically the high gold fodder is going to, like, between 85 to, <laughs> to 91s. You might see. 85 86 come up but then the 87 88s 89s 90s 91s the 91 will pull the other high fodder up because would you rather buy a 91 or a 90 you know what i mean when there's just a few coins off you can see the big difference the big bull big big gap there and so that's what we're seeing guys so uh just be aware that maybe if you buy a 91 it's it's all about the sbc fodder and what do we care about guys we care about the active challenge the community sbc solutions we care 
what's coming in here and you know the cheapest way to do it yada 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 so that's what we're going to be seeing demand from and that's what we're going to be flipping so guys when it comes to the inform market today uh again guys we're we're at base value we'll, we'll continue to check in on this and talk to you guys what we expect from this but right now again we're on another day of 86s are now 11k at like an all-time low um they've never been that cheap 87s are 88s are going to come down uh drastically 89s are going to come down as well uh, the whole whole higher market, unless there's any sort of demand here soon, it's going to be down, 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 down. So don't even look into that. Now, 88s, guys, uh, team of season cards, these are even as cheap. 15.5 for Alioski. If you think about it, guys, 88s, look at that, 15K. They're at the cheapest rating. And so I would actually be buying this as fodder. So when we look into the gold market and whatever it is, I would be looking into buying the team of the season cards because they will be continuously used in fodder and they actually are more rare. And so they're going to go up faster or they're going to stay higher longer. So you have a higher chance to get a return on these rather than the others. Now, like Munyane here, 31K, very close to that base price. But where is, like, he's cheaper than O'Block right now. Guys, these, these cards are cheaper than the gold market right now. So do I expect these to go up? And look, decent links. Decent links. It's playable. It's a good card. Do I expect this to go up? I don't know. You tell me. You tell me. Nest shot, flare, outside foot. Short and lean body style. This is absolutely, a, this is absurd to be cheap. The only thing is his strength, but, in, but like, it's absurdly cheap. And so would I expect a Yano block that's more expensive or something that has been requiring SBCs? Therefore, I'd be trying to go in on, um, I would be trying to go in on this type of market. And that's what we're talking about, guys. This is the idea that we need to look into. So we, when we reference the market over here, we need to check with the we need, you guys need to check with the team of season before you go and invest. But this is where I'd be looking because these have a very good chance of popping as well. And just super subs, guys. Super sub market is 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 there as well. And so that's that's really what I'm looking for as as an investment option, guys. Uh, a lot of this stuff should come up like Singar like Singarde here. He might be the cheapest option, but he's one of the most dominant players. And see, if you look at this right when he came out of packs, he went up and then now he's come back down. Right. And so what I expect is the cards that just came out, like the La Liga ones, those guys are going to come up through kind of the week and then they're going to come back down. But the thing about it is you guys can go ahead and invest into something like this and they go up to 35, 36, 37 K. Right. And then, boom, they come back down. It's like Schlotterbeck. Uh, like, where was he trading just a few days ago? Look at that. He was down to 41, and he's kind of flatlined. So he was actually a little bit higher. But uh, Anthony was almost 80K when he came out. He was over 80K, and then, look, big drop, big drop, big drop, right? But the thing about it is they are those are still a little bit higher than where they should be. We're trying to buy the stuff that's kind of pushing up. So, like, all the 91s are actually still... So it looks like uh, Solanke here is at 36K, and he's kind of flatlined. But the thing about it is you guys can trade on the volatility, and I would actually be invested. I would be buying the 88s, 89s, the playable cards from here. Like, even, like, the – or, you know, what's a, that's actually probably going to be a decent one is this Grimaldo card. This Grimaldo card is still very cheap, 24K. He, it looks like he hasn't even hit the base price yet, so I'd be keeping an eye on this one. Extremely playable. Uh, Spanish link with leak nose, so it's unique. Uh, there's probably going to be, uh, you know, there, there's probably going to be something unique about it. It's unique with the Spanish and the, the links. It makes it super, super cheap. So, team players that are joining in FIFA late, that are getting the PS Plus, you know, they're not huge FIFA players, but maybe they pack something early because EA give them, gives them a pack and then they're going to want to build a team. These are the type of cards that are going to rise. Uh, something that I, I expect you guys to look forward to. In the future guys is actually the league un gold cards gold cards for league un are, are probably gonna pop just similar to the way that the the all the tots teams are requiring uh la liga players right or the tots are requiring whatever the promo is i expect that to be a thing so look out for that but guys the next 48 hours 72 hours guys what's going to happen in this market we're going to see a small bull okay and so why want you guys to say you guys are pretty safe trading any gold common or gold rare base value discard price 
and holding on to them for the next 24, 48, 72 hours until these all come out of the market. Once these come out of the market, guess what happens? Guess what happens? That demand comes out of the market, and so the price will come down. So uh, these are should these should trickle up here for the next 72 hours therefore that's where i see the demand that's where i'd say is consistent that's where i'd say if you guys want to be consistent throughout your coins this is where to go but you just watch the foot daily update guys uh i'll be here as soon i'll try to be around i'm trying to get back on live stream here soon uh but you will see me day to day to day to day until tomorrow guys we'll see you guys soon thank you for watching as always happy trading